Hi guys! First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for the amazing response that you gave on my very first makeup tutorial. I was like, oh my god, people liked it. I was so, so, so happy. And I don't know, it just made my new year even more special. So today's video is going to be a review on uh, one of the latest launches by Maybelline. Maybelline has been killing it. They've been bringing stuff on and on and on. And I told this even in my previous uh, Gold Digger collection, swatches, review, whatever. I told even in that video. And this video is really exciting. Like every video is exciting. You know what I mean? But this video is even more exciting because Maybelline finally bought the Fit Me range in India. Finally. They bought the uh, Fit Me range which has foundation, concealer, concealer, uh, pressed powder and I think blush. Those are the four new launches along with um, an eyeliner. I think that eyeliner is either matte and the previous one was glossy or this one is glossy and the previous one was matte. Something along those lines. So they finally borrowed the Fit Me range and I'm so excited. So I have review, demo and all those things to show you guys. So without further ado, let's just hop on to the video. So, um, like I said, Maybelline finally, finally launched their Fit Me range in India and I cannot be more happier than this because I have seen people raving about Fit Me range all over the uh, YouTube community like especially Kathleen Light and Amanda and Singh, they just, they always, always tell that it's the best drugstore foundation, hands down, I love it and all those things. So. When they bought, when I found out that they bought Fit Me range to India, I couldn't wait to get my hands on them and I finally did. So this is what the packaging looks like. So I, I will insert close up shots for it, don't you worry. So this is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin. So this is only suitable for normal to oily skin which I do agree and uh, this retails for 525 rupees for 30 ml of product. I think the price point and the quantity are in great proportion like 30 ml of product and you do need very 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 little for your whole face. So and I am in the shade 230 natural buff and I am going to insert the demo right here. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. It's like a nice glass bottle. So I will put up a close-up shot, you know. I always say this. So it's, it's really, really, really liquidy. And I am in the shade 230 Natural uh, Buff. And it's a pretty, pretty good match for me. This foundation is extremely liquidy. And I'm going to use my usual foundation brush to apply this onto my face. We're going to do one layer. And then we'll see if we need more. Um, you know or to see if the coverage is buildable or does it get cakey I do have to quickly mention that I have some pores here they are not extremely visible but if you like magnify then you will be able to see the pores like if you are very very close to the camera only then or the mirror you will be able to see otherwise you won't be able to see so let me first show you the you know uh, so that is what it looks like I don't like this Ugh, it gets everywhere. This foundation is super liquidy. That's a lot. So I don't know how well you guys will be able to tell but that is flowing down. So that is how liquidy it is. So I'm just going to apply this to my face. Like I need a mirror. It has a nice uh, fragrance to it, not uh, too much or anything of that sort. And then I'm just going to use this uh, buffer brush like so and just blend, blend, blend. So that is what one layer looks like. As you can see, it matches my neck pretty, pretty well. I don't know why it looks a little ghostly. No, it doesn't. So that is how it looks like. And as for my pores, okay, I'm not able to see them much at all. I mean, I can still see them, but you know, they're very minimum. Okay, so I don't like full coverage foundation, I just like medium one. So we're gonna try again um, to see if this is buildable. I like this coverage, but we'll just try, you know, for demonstration purposes, but I'm not gonna use more. 
with a little with this foundation goes a very 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 long way you can even blend it out with your fingers you know you don't need a brush or maybe a sponge again i'm just going to use this and blend 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 So that is what it looks like after two layers. Okay, I don't know if it is just in the viewfinder or what, but it looks a little white cast, but it actually does not in um, real life. It looks very much like my skin, and I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but it's, it's already set. Like, it looks very much like my skin. I'm not even going to powder it, and it doesn't feel tacky or anything of that sort. And I did about one and a half ish layer, I didn't do two full layers. So that is what one and a half ish layers looks like. I was pretty happy with one layer, it does give a medium coverage. So this is the foundation that I am actually wearing today. Like it looks so natural on my skin, like it matches my skin so perfectly and it looks like I'm not wearing anything. Like even if I keep the mirror here, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. It looks like your skin and but in a healthy sort of a way. Um, however, I do have combination skin like I am dry in this area and oily in my t-zone so this one um, works really well in my t-zone but here I'm a little dry not too dry so I always use a moisturizer beneath and also maybe a hydrating primer will definitely help to you know make this foundation stick to your skin better but if you have dry skin I would definitely recommend staying away from it I actually haven't even powdered my face I just applied this foundation and that's all it kind it's kind of very 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 liquidy like you saw in the demo and it turns into kind of kind of a powder once it's set and I haven't even set it with powder and it transfers very 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 little like almost five to six percent I would say that's all like it doesn't transfer much uh, can you guys see when it doesn't transfer much at all which I'm really 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 happy about and it is not uh, irritating my skin it didn't break me out or anything and especially in these areas when I'm dry it is not feeling dry at the moment it's just feeling fine just because I had a moisturizer underneath but if you apply it without moisturizer it is going to look cakey and really 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 bad you can uh, apply this with a beauty blender or a flat top kabuki brush or even with your fingers the sales assistant actually applied it on my fingers and it blended into my skin so well that you will not be able to tell that I am wearing foundation they have six um, shades in the whole range and I think I am the second or the third shade in the whole range because the second and the third uh, shade in the range both match me like from the lightest both of them match me but um, the other I think this is the third shade in the range I think the second shade was the one which had a little bit of pinky undertones and this as you can see is a little more olivey yellowy type of undertone so it matched me perfectly this doesn't look like I'm wearing anything but the previous one did look like I was wearing something you know it had a little bit more pink undertones so as far as the shades are concerned I'm neither too happy nor too sad because they have a good range but they don't, do not have a great range. In other countries the Fit Me range has like 8, 12 or even 15 shades. I have heard, I'm not too sure. But in India they only launched 6 shades which I am actually sad about. I wish they launched more shades but you know not bad actually for the shade range. I think the shade range is okay but there could have been a little bit of an improvement. And for the price point as well, I think this is not as cheap as the, which is that, the Lacme Invisible Wear Foundation thingy and nor is it as expensive as the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour Foundation. This is right in between and if this is in your budget, I would definitely recommend picking it up. And as for the claims, it says mattifies and refines pores. Okay, uh, I did mention that I have some pores in this region. It did keep my face matte, like there is no dew on my face, like it's completely matte. And refines pores, um, 
well these pores are not vanished completely but um, I can definitely see that they have been blurred just a little bit like I cannot see my pores that well if I keep a mirror right like right in my cheek matches natural skin tone I definitely agree like can you tell the difference how many times can I twist my um, face up like this it definitely matches my skin tone um, natural seamless finish yes definitely it does have a very 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 natural finish it looks like skin it doesn't look like you have caked up seven or eight thousand layers on your face it definitely looks like skin and the rest is written in some other language so I think it's the same claim so there the three claims I think all the three claims are true to most of the extent and the pros price point amazing and they this has like mediumish coverage like somewhere you can even share it out but this is definitely more on the medium coverage side and you can uh, even build it up it doesn't look cakey on my face whatsoever as for the cons the biggest con that i have is the packaging itself first of all it's a glass tube like it's a glass tube and I'm not happy about it and the second thing is that they don't have a pump or a dropper or anything so this is not at all travel friendly like definitely definitely not travel friendly the next con that I have is the shade range Th that can be a con as well as a pro like if you can find a shade in uh, your um, skin tone then it's a pro and if you cannot find then it's a con people who have um, skin colors or skin tone I must say which are like two or at least three darker than me you can find uh, your perfect shade but if it is a little more than that then I don't think you can find any shade overall do I think this is worth it I absolutely do think this is worth it if you can find your shade and if you are someone who does not have a dry skin I definitely recommend you pick this up because I really 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 like it I used to use the Lakme foundation you know all these days even in my first makeup tutorial I used it and it kind of didn't look that good on my skin I mean I felt that but this one makes your skin look natural but it makes it all even now it doesn't look patchy or anything of that sort and it doesn't oxidize either so if you guys can see it's been like seven eight minutes and it still stays the same so it doesn't oxidize on me personally but I've seen people telling that it oxidizes on them maybe it depends on the body chemistry skin type things like that so I hope you guys liked this very first makeup product review I wanted to review a product that was like you know bam in the Indian market and I think I found the perfect product to review and I'm so happy that I picked it up let me know down below if you like this review if you want me to do more such reviews or what do you want me to review or anything of that sort in the comments down below and please subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you in my next one